Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is uh, the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome, uh, generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. However, we do have one small green biome, and we are currently uh, working in the green biome to get uh, leveled up and geared up so that we can go into this mega city here and loot the crap out of it. So that's what we're about. All right, so I found uh, essentially a triple um, iron deposit, which has turned into a massive iron mine. And so basically uh, the first node... Uh, deposit, whatever you want to call it, was right about here, and then there was another one somewhere right around in here, and then there was a third one to the east, right about here, where that hole is. And so, I've been mining the crap out of this. Of course, we had a cave in. I was expecting that to happen. And uh, I, I use, I don't, anymore, I don't bother trying to prevent cave-ins. I just mine until the cave-in happens, and, you know, just, just keep going. So, basically, I I do strip mining here in seven days, and then, you know, if we get rushed, that's what the M60 is for. Um, and look at how much iron I've got. Oh, my God. I've got over 60,000, almost, almost 60, I got six, over 65,000 iron in my inventory just from doing this much. And it's going to go down, you know, several more layers, too. So there is tons and tons and tons of iron here, which is awesome. Uh, so, because we're going to need it, too. I mean, you know, because we have a lot of steel uh, to make. To finish the horde base so yeah really cool anyway uh what we're gonna do in this episode is i haven't really done mm, i don't think i've done really much more with the horde base since i left left you off in the last episode because uh, if you recall i mentioned that i needed needed to do some iron mining so i kind of i basically drove around most of the green biome looking for uh, more iron nodes and I didn't really find anything anywhere else except for in this spot here where I found three of them right next to each other, which is fantastic. There's probably enough iron in this mine, this triple mine, to last us for the whole rest of this playthrough, I would think. Just, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, steel takes so much iron, so we'll just see how that goes. And really, that's all I did. I, I, I you know, did a little bit of looting, like of bird's nest and stuff like that as I drove around. So I haven't really done much more than that since I left you in the last episode. Uh, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go back to the base. We're going to get this uh, iron started cooking up. I need to, um, I really should try and get uh, or make a couple more of these now, too, so I can just have all four of my forges uh, cranking it out. And... Um, well, I, I have the fourth forge that, you know, that's dedicated to making cement. Uh, so I should make at least one more crucible so that we can uh, get at least three of them uh, going on uh, the steel production. So we'll do that first. And then we've got a new quest to do today. It's another two, tier two fetch and clear at Old Victoria. And that should be pretty exciting going into that house there. And so that's what our plan is for this episode. It is day 69. Next, uh, tomorrow, will be Horde Night. So that's coming up as well. Let's see, where did I park the bike? It's over this way. Um, yeah, so we got a huge mine. Really cool. Lots of, uh, uh, lots of iron in there for us. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to the base. And, whoa, look at that. Uh, we'll get a uh, another crucible made. And we can really start cranking out the iron production. And then we'll go do that uh, quest. So, I will uh, bring you back when we are ready to uh, do the quest. Whoa, there's a tree right there. <laughs> when we're ready to do that quest. Okay, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, uh, we're back, and I, w I went ahead and decided just to make two crystal because I got the material for it, so why the hell not, right? Um, even though I'm at present, I'm going to continue um, just making uh, cement in in the fourth forge, and, you know, we can always make more forges, too, uh, if we, you know, feel like it's necessary. Uh, so let's get these topped off, and then we'll go do that quest. So we'll see how, you know, how production goes with the... With you know three full-time you know steel slash iron forges, and then uh, if I feel like I still need to make it at a more you know a more quick a uh, quicker is what I'm trying to say. Jeez, I can't talk today. A quicker rate, then uh, we'll 
We'll add more forges to the mix. The more forges we add, the more heat we generate, though, of course, so we do have to be kind of mindful of that, too. All right, excellent. So we still have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so, yeah, we got 35,000 and change left of iron still. And I mined all that up in, you know, in one night, too. Uh, less, actually, really less than one night, so... And no, I think it was. It took me just about pretty much the whole night to to get close to seventy thousand uh, steel. You know, with our our auger here, and all the mods and stuff. So yeah, it went great. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Um, I I made sure my food and water and all that was good. Medical's good. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to uh, first aid. Where are you at? Let's get these topped back off. Oh, uh, we did have a wolf horde. Uh, yesterday too when I was out and about and so I killed a bunch of wolves got a bunch more uh, birds eggs so now we're up to nine bacon and eggs that's still my primary source of food right now I do have uh, two fish tacos if I want something really good and we've got you know nine old shams with nine vitamins to eat those with so we're, we're, we're doing really good on food not really worried about that at some point though the bacon and eggs is gonna become harder and harder to come by because you know I'm I've I, I'm um, harvesting all of the bird's nests here in the green biome uh, but i'm not worried about that i mean we, we got food we got food we're in good shape i still want to do a farm at some point that's not a high priority right now okay let's go ahead and do this uh this quest oh the other thing i was going to tell you guys too is i've got uh over forty thousand dukes now i had a bunch of stuff that i sold to the trader um, after I left you guys in the last episode. And so we now have enough to buy uh, Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir. Plus I have the, um, I've got the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's Grandpa's something something that you can drink where you get the 20% discount. Um, so we have that too that we can use when, um, we've already looted this place. Oh, so, okay, so it's going to, it's going to give it to us again. Um, if I recall... I think the fat loot's in this place. Well, we can't double loot it anyways because we've already done it. But it's in the. It's somewhere in here in a basement. Oh shit! Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? I should have brought some stone so we could make. Uh, make our our land claim blocks. You're really so stupid that you can't run through that door there. All right, if you're gonna give me a free and easy kill. Oh, that wasn't good. I didn't have my shoddy all the way loaded up. I do have the uh, the rad rad remover mod on the shotgun too, so we can do a pretty damn good damage to the irradiated bastards now. All right, you know what? Before we go in here, let's just find a boulder. I want some stone so I can make some uh, land claim blocks for blocking the choke points. Twenty-five? I don't think we need twenty-five of those. I don't know. Did they, I can't remember. Do these stack? Let's just make two for now. Get rid of this stuff. Yeah, I don't remember if those stack or not. I don't think they do, but we'll see. Did I already loot this? Nope. Nothing in there. All right, let's do this. So we will, we'll just take the, you know, the normal path that it wants us to. This is a fetch and a clear. Which is good, because those give the maximum XP. Whoops. That made a little bit of noise. Let's craft another one of those two. I just want to see if these stack. I'm pretty sure that they don't, but let's just wait and see what happens here. Make sure all of our weapons are fully loaded. We have 120 rounds in this, which is nice. That has eight rounds. I still need to either find the shotgun uh, tube extender or find the mod, you know, the mod, mod for it. I don't need this. On, no, see, they don't stack. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't make 25 of those. All right, um, we're going to have baddies right in this room. Is it just her? Because if it's just her, 
I'm not really too worried about just her. Let's just put a, a wood one down. Uh, put that there. Nobody else? Okay. Okay, it wants us to go up there. This is just a closet, as I recall. Whoa! I tried to jump. Yeah, there's something there. It's a... A uh, purse, I think. Here, let's do this. That way we can actually jump up there. And we have to catch it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's really hard to get to. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, uh, I'll take both of those things. Alright, up we go. We're not supposed to go in there, so... If I stay uh, crouched, then I can jump without uh, making extra noise. Oh yeah, I remember this choke point. <laughs> okay, we might get a glower through here, so let's... um. Let's put that down. And I don't think they can come through the half blocks, so... Alright. Whoa! She scared me. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that shotgun master skill. Woot! It's starting to pay off now. Plus, plus the duckbill mods, actually, I'm really starting to really like that because, you know, it just gives you a wider spread. And uh, it's very useful. Very useful. That's another spider. Where the hell's he at? All right. Well, he's obviously down below where he can't. We're assuming, anyways, he can't get to us right at the moment. I'll take those. Well, all right. Let's see here. I think, let's just let's just get rid of this. Yeah, this guy's uh, down below somewhere. There's nothing to loot in that thing, Madoodle. There he is. Hey, dummy! Now we got somebody else's attention. Two more somebody else's attentions. They seem to be in that room, so they're not coming immediately coming for us. There's our satchel. Okay, we got that done. If I could figure out where they're breaking through, we could just kill them right now. Are they... Oh, they're trying to break through the door. Ah, okay. I wonder if they would fall through... Well, I guess we can't break the frame. Someone might come around that corner. Are you just a normal? Yeah, you're a normal. Let's take care of you without worrying about the blockade thingamadoodle. Okay, let's block this back up for the moment. And keep going the pathway. We got a shirt there. Get some brass off of those things. You know, it's funny. I, I watch a few other YouTubers, and I'm not going to mention any names. Uh, and the people that I do watch, I, I definitely enjoy and admire what they do. Um, so this is not at all meant to be, uh, you know, anything derogatory, derogatory towards them. But everybody who I've watched play this game, none of them harvest those brass lamps. And I, I wonder why. Uh, it could be that they don't know, obviously. Or maybe they don't think it's worth the effort. I'm not sure, but yeah, I just I just find that interesting. But nobody seems to 
get the brass from those lamps when it's pretty easy to do so. Okay, we've got we've got some we've got enough seekers in here to probably warrant a land claim. I'm thinking. Uh, let's just scrap that. And we don't need this either. What what are we wearing? Whatever it is, it has plus three cold resist. Oh, t-shirt, yeah. Yeah, we don't really need to worry about cold on this map. It's just, I mean, it does on occasion get cold in the forest biome. And I've even I've even seen it get cold, uh, you know, in the, um, in the wasteland. But it's not, it doesn't happen very often. It usually gets hot. Okay, so let's get everybody's attention here. She must be feral. Yeah, I think she was. Alright, it sounds like... Hey. Quit making so much noise. Alright. Moving right along here. There's a duffel bag and some water in it. And that's about it. Make sure there's nobody in there. Okay, so Quest wants us to go downstairs. Nice, we got some more vitamins. Always like to have those. Okay, let's wrench the um, sink. Get the brass from it. But we'll get rid of the lead. It's not worth taking up a spot for that because it's so easy to get. And now we go downstairs. Okay, so nobody in that way. Got a sports bag with some honey and a yellow stone spear with no sell price. Yellow stone spear. That's a very early game tool there. Hey, can we look into here and see what's going on? There's some food on the table. Okay, no, nobody out here in the foyer. Or this isn't a foyer, it's a hallway. Grab that golden rod. Okay, let's check these two rooms. Looks like we have a laundry room here. Sewing kits. Whoops. Uh, there's... A sports bag. A stone sledgehammer. Also, no sell price on that. Uh, let's scrap the pipes. We don't need to carry those around. Okay, well, I guess that's it for that room. What do we got in here? Another bathroom. That's about it. Okay. Some more coffee. They've got two coffee makers in this kitchen. They must like their caffeine. Um, there isn't going to be anything behind that picture. It seems um, we already know super corn sells for 160. Here, let's scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle, throw away a doodle. Just, I mean, we don't need to take up a slot for one gunpowder when we've got tens of thousands of it back at the base. Um, you gotta, you know, the, you gotta have a compromise between every little bit counts versus inventory space, of course. It's the way it goes in this game. Let's drink one of these. 
And again, this is just too easy for us to produce, so we don't need to carry that around. Uh, nope, don't want that. I'll take the water. And don't need any of that stuff. Nip, got lots of antibiotics. Okay, let's take this sink apart and get the brass. That's not a sink, that's a cabinet. All right, here we go. There's no... Nobody around in here, huh? Seems suspiciously quiet. Like, too quiet. Nope. Yeah, I know I could scrap it, but I'm not going to do it. There's not going to be anything behind that picture. What the hell did I just step on? <laughs> I don't even see any trash. That was weird. Oh, man. Are there any Zeeks above us in the ceiling? What? Why, do, why is it making the step on trash noise when there's no trash down there? That is weird. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's not use that right at the moment. Let's just make a wooden... Uh, barricade here for the moment. Okay. Just because it's a little bit more open in there and I... Oh, there's the trash. That wasn't showing up earlier. I could have sworn that was not there. I'm going to have to check the video later, but... I'm almost positive that wasn't there before. Maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. That's an... That's a possibility. Absolute possibility. Okay, I gotta get right in the middle here. Uh, nope, don't want any of that stuff. Okay, wake up, little Susie. Sounds like that's it for that little batch. Home theater. And we got a sink. Okay, toss. Whoops. Wrong buttons. Get rid of that. Scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle. Uh, and get rid of those. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Secret hidden backpack. There we go. Um, you know. Not really. I don't think it's worth taking up an inventory space for that. Yeah, I could repair it and maybe get 100 coins for it, but nah, we're not going to do it. Not going to do it. All right. If this is the room... Yeah, this room... This is going to get a little interesting. This is the room I think it is. So, let's see here. Let's get these broken out of the way. Right behind, um, you know, I should probably start bringing some nades with me. I've got a bunch of nades made up for Horde Knights. Right behind that wall, there's a bunch of zombies. So, we're going to make a choke point here. Um, we can really only use one land claim, though, at a time. So, we'll put that down. And then we'll just use... Uh, Wood blocks for the other side. Okay, let's see if we can get it someone's attention. You 
know, I'm probably not close enough to trigger it. I'll bet you that's what the deal is. Get a little stamina back here. Oh, geez, that's cement. You know what? Screw that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break cement. Let's just get. Oh, now, <laughs> now it does it. Okay. All right. So what we have to do is we have to get a little closer, I think, to trigger them because they, they might not even be spawned in there yet. And then. The plan is to rush back here, throw the blocks down really quick, and upgrade them before the the rush gets to us. See, this took us by surprise the last time we did this place, so now at least we know what the hell's going on. Maybe if we just step here and step on that trigger. Yep. Oh shit, we're not... No, I, I didn't get to it in time. Got, I got a little bit flustered there. That's okay, M60. When all else fails, M60. Oh, hey, you're not dead yet? Dang. It's a good thing, uh... Our M60 had just reloaded. Yeah. Got a trash here. Okay. Uh, that, I believe that's it. I don't think there's any nasties in here. This is the loot room. Okay, cool. And that just leads up into the garage. And our bike's just outside there. There we go. Okay, let's go see what we got. All right, that's pretty cool. Nice, another rad remover. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Let's break those two guys. Uh, repair kits is good. Here, let's get rid of the glass and pick this up now. Uh, okay, that will sell, that will scrap, and then let's look at the big chest. Well, we got, um, another Iron Breaker mod, a stun baton that we will sell and take 5% less damage when wearing baseball hats and letter jackets. Oh, okay, what the hell? I don't think we'll probably ever do that, but... Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna go, um, drop off all of, uh, my extra stuff, come back down here and get the rest of this loot. Um, nothing super, super good in there, but, you know, it's decent stuff. And I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. So I will continue to, um, I, I have to go mine up some lead, so I'm going to do that off camera. And then I'll get back to working on the Horde base, and we'll just see, you know, how much we get done on it before Horde night, which is tomorrow night. So we basically have a day in in-game day and a half. And it's possible that it'll be ready by then, but I don't think so. We'll see, though. If it is, we'll definitely use it. If it's not, I'll just, you know, probably go out on the road again and wrench cars uh, during the Horde night, and that'll give us one more week. And then I fully expect to have the Horde base ready the following Horde night, which would be day 77. But we'll see how things go. I might be able to actually, you know, get it ready uh, by day 70, but I'm not expecting that, that to happen, so we'll just see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.